Quix is currently contributing around 4% of all sea level rise we see each year in, in, in the world. Um, but if Thwaites Glacier was to collapse entirely, um, we would be looking at about 60 centimetres of sea level rise over the entire planet. Um, and researchers suggested that if Thwaites collapses, then you might see a much wider collapse of the West Antarctic Ice Sheet. It might trigger a bigger collapse. And there you would see two to three metres of sea level rise. So these are worst case scenarios and the time scales for this to happen is kind of hundreds of years to kind of thousands of years. Um, but it kind of gives you the idea of the potential of how much sea level rise we might see. So it's essentially weakening because it's being attacked from both sides. So there's warm water that's getting in underneath it, and that's melting the, uh, the ice shelf from beneath. And as it melts the ice shelf from beneath, the amount that, it, that it's in contact with this underwater mountain is decreasing. So as the amount that it is in contact decreases, the ability for it to kind of push back on the glacier is reducing. It's also fracturing um, on the surface, so kind of a bit like a crack in a windscreen that slowly grows in time. There are these big fractures and rifts that are spreading across the ice shelf and that's weakening its um, its fabric essentially um, on the surface. Yes, definitely. This this ice shelf um, is is doing a, a huge amount for restraining Thwaites from getting into the ocean. So yes, yeah, so if we do lose it within five years, um, the consequences will be severe. Uh -huh. 